Julia Pimsler, you are on a mission to create more million dollar women. That's women with businesses which have a million or more in sales. So what's the state of women owned businesses right now? It's a great time to be a woman entrepreneur. Women have been starting twice as many businesses as men over the last decade. There are about 10 million of us in the U.S. and we generate about 1.4 trillion in revenues every year. However, only 3% of all these women entrepreneurs ever make it to 1 million in revenues. And that's what I'm trying to help change really quickly. And what's the biggest thing holding them back? Is it the lack of funding? Is it their families? What holds them back? You know, it's not competence, it's capital. Women start their businesses with six times less capital than men do. And that is one of the biggest issues that women are facing today, is that if they don't raise that money, then they don't have the runway to get their businesses off the ground, to scale up, and to really go big. And are you trying to bring out the inner entrepreneur in everybody, or just help women who have businesses take them to the next level? Because uh, starting a business is not for everybody, either man or woman. Yeah, running a business is hard, and you know, I, I, in the first five years, half of all businesses shut down. So I'm not encouraging women to start a business unless they want to, but if women do want to be entrepreneurs, and one in ten young women is now saying she does want to be an entrepreneur, then how does that woman go big? Who are her role models? How does she avoid some of the pitfalls? That's why I interviewed seven women who've made it into the multi-million in revenues and asked them, how did you get here? What mistakes can we help young women coming up behind us avoid? And, and what do they generally say? Because you ask these high-profile women, what was their response in general? I think learning to delegate early on, realizing that to go big, don't go solo, was really key. And then also having the right capital, frankly, to do a proper marketing campaign, to hire senior staff, and to scale up your business. Those are some of the key components to success. How hard is it to scale and to get money? A woman walks into a bank, she can get X. Guy walks in, how much can he get? Well, the stats are bleak, actually. Only 7% of all venture capital goes to women-run businesses, and that's what I'm trying to change with Million Dollar Women. It's less about men discriminating against women and more about the fact that we haven't learned the fundraising dance. Women need to learn how to fundraise, and quickly, if they want to take their businesses big. And more and more women are doing this. I'm just trying to help accelerate that by teaching them how to go about it. And who are some of the role models that you suggest they look to? Because there are a lot of female CEOs right now of Fortune 500 companies. You have uh, Ginny Romney at IBM. You have Mary Barra at GM. Some, uh, some high-profile women out there. Who are you saying that uh, million-dollar women should look to? Well, in Million Dollar Women, I actually profiled the women who are harder to find in the media because when I was building my business to a million dollars, Little Pim, Language Teaching for Kids, I read about Sarah Blakely, I read about Oprah and Ariana Huffington, but they didn't help me figure out how to get to my next level. So the women in Million Dollar Women are what I call at Mount Everest Base Camp. So they're at 18,000 feet, they've made it through those first five years, they're running multi-million dollar businesses. You might not read about them every day, but they have the most to teach the women who are trying to get to a million in revenues. So I did amazing profiles with women I have so much respect for, from the CEO of Stella and Dot, to Pathbright, to Desert Jet. These are women in all different industries, at all different levels of their business, but all achieving the high revenues. All right, we need more million dollar women out there. Thank you, That's Julia. That's right. Thank you for having me. And thank you for watching the street.